Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we finally got the pre-event in pre-patch. That means new quest, new gear, new fun. I'm here today to help you with everything that you need to know about this pre-event. Even if you are playing Alliance, if you're playing Horde, I'm here for helping you with this. So let's get directly to it. When you log into World of Warcraft on your Alliance character, you will be seeing a pop-up window saying what's new, and now you can take a quest called Death Rising. You can say start the quest, and now it will say an urgent request. You basically have to report back to Jen Greyman at Lion's Rest in Stormwind City. If you're doing this on a Horde character, you will see you can also get the quest in this way. It says here, quest discovered, an urgent request. And as a Horde, you would have to go to Okrima to talk with, well, report to Lortemar at Tyran at Top Grommash Hold in Okrima. So that is the different parts when you're playing Alliance or Horde, that you basically have to get to Stormwind if you're Alliance, or Okrima if you're Horde. As an Alliance, when you reach in Stormwind and you have to go to Lion's Rest, um, basically here, it will then give you the quest where you have to talk with Jen Greyman, who will say how has this happened. It will then play a cinematic for you that will exactly tell you what happened. The next step as a lion, you would have to go to the city, well, the gate of Stormwind, where you will meet one of the Archon Crusaders. This guy here, he says, return to the Crusade, and basically what they want is they want you to basically help them go back and, you know, get back the Scourge. But first, you would have to gather reports from officers in Elven Forest, Ridrid Mountains, and Duskwood. On the Horde side, where you get the quest, you would have to go into Okrama here and return the quest to Lautemar, the Terran, where you would have to say, well, the same quest, an urgent request, it basically has the same name. After that, he would be talking a little bit for you. It will be the same procedure where you can say what happened. It will then show you the cinematic of what happened, exactly the same cinematic as Alliance have seen, and, you know, go on there. You would then have to complete the quest, and after that, you will have to talk with Commander Frock and also Okrima. After that, the same thing you would have to do as you did on Alliance. You would have to go down and talk with one from the Archon Crusade. It's basically the same as Horde Alliance, where you can say, return to the Crusade, complete quest. Now you'll get the same quest, almost, where you have to give up reports from officers in Durotar and the Barons. So, you know, to basically 
in the alliance side you will have to gather reports on the alliance zones and here you will have to gather reports on the horde zones on the alliance side you will then meet crusader lena here from the argent crusade wow. also but you will have to say gregor send me to gather reports do you have any news she would then say our patrols report outbreaks of scourge activities to the east our forces are shaken by holding but holding the line i sent a scout to speak with guard captain josephine in retreat they have yet to return so now the next quest we would have to go over and get a report of how it's going over in Red Ridge Mountains. Thereby you will meet guard captain Josephine who says, well you can say it's a her, Gregor sent me the scourge, they are already here. And well we can we can see some Optimus fighting actually here. But yeah, we got the report and now it's time to go to Duskwood to get one of the last reports. Same wise in Duskwood, we get this guard captain where we say Commander Gregor sent me to gather reports. We get the report, what gathered reports our, our couriers should have reached Stormwind long before now. They have yet to receive any reports, but give me what you have, I'll make sure it gets delivered. So you should check up on Vernon and Darkshire if it's not it's this bad here. If I can't imagine his, what his forces must be facing. So, you know, it's, it's just like starting the lore on telling us, you know, everything is getting bad we're getting scourge everywhere and you know undeads undeads everywhere and then we meet in duskwood we meet the arch and crusade called Lightning and vernon and he well he he have we have the reports here we need to deliver to him and get some 11 gold the next thing he would make you do is kill 12 scourge in this area there should be plenty of scourge to kill they are coming from all the gates you can die jumping on the roofs they're coming flying down and over there they keep coming with like a big invasion so you should not have a problem with getting those 12 kills after getting the 12 kills we will deliver the quest and now we have to bring lieutenant vernon's report to commander gregor in stormwind fingers crossed we're getting something you know more exciting going to ice crawl thereby we are meeting again up with commander gregor in stormwind where he will say return to the scourge complete the quest a message from ice crown basically it says we receive word from our forces snow friend justica trueheart request our immediately assistance report to justica trueheart at the Archon tournament grounds in ice crowns so now we are getting to the ice crown where you know all the thing is gonna start this was basically just until now a little introduction beside that we also get a very interesting quest that some of you might like we are going to kill Nefanas Blightcaller. Yes, you are getting a quest where you have to go kill Nefanas Blightcaller. You get some commendation points that you can buy gear from. And he is standing all the way over here. You can see that it has a um, it has a quest. It basically has a reward. So when you kill him, you are going to get 100% a chest that will contain at eye level 115 eye level it should be the same as the nyanlofa Nyan raid on heroic so it's a pretty neat item but again you could also say why the hell should i care about a new item when a new expansion is coming out in, in you know like 13 days and i agree you should not care so yeah but let's go over kill him the funny part is when you do actually the quest where you have to kill alliance they have to kill 12 just scourge but the horde is actually going to kill um, four golds and six cultists so it's it's fun that there is actually a difference between alliance and horde if, if what you have to kill so horde alliance is not getting attacked by the same you could probably say but else the same quest is the same where you have to you know pick up the quest you have to go find three people get the reports kill some monsters and go back and deliver it then as the same on Horner, you could de deliver your quest and then you will be getting the same quest where you have to get to Ice Crown and also where you have to kill Nefanus. So it's both Alliance and Horner who wants to kill Nefanus. So let's try and see if we can get Nefanus killed. I know you have to wait a couple of times, you know, he's like having a respawn on. And on the same time, let's also get to Ice Crown. So here we are. There is Nefanus. He's yelling a lot of things. Um, I can I can take up this chat so you can actually like see yeah so you can see for yourself what he's saying if you're interested in that and now we have to kill him 
I heard he's um he's pretty strong, so it's like very easy to die against him. Ouch. Along with every soul burned to ash in your precious tree. Where is she? <laughs> Go on. Kill me. You'll send me right to my lady. Beyond the veil, she shattered. <laughs> oh, Tyrande. Hi. Priestess, night warrior, completely powerless to stop the coming. Then of course after killing the Thanos Blight Caller you would have to go back to Jin Drayman or even go back to Ogrima if you play as a hoarder and deliver the quest here and get your free 5 accommodations. I the Blight Caller before. A pity I wasn't there to help end him. At long last one of the architects of the fourth war has been brought to justice. So now we have completed the intro on both Horde Alliance. We have killed Nathanos on both Horde Alliance. And that means both my Horde Alliance character will now have to go back here to Ice, well, Ice Crown in the Cambiad Argent Tournament grounds. And we will have to speak with Justica Matril Trupar. She will have a quest here that we have to complete. And then we get a new quest that also gives us arch and commendations that says remove 12 scourge from the arch and tournament grounds and here we have rescue six bounded valiants from the training grounds so basically it's a little quest that where we have to kill after killing and healing the people away in in arch and tournament grounds you will have to go out and do some serving where you have to use these small sites to look around and next one and we have to go all the way back to deliver the quest again there's a lot of running in these quests so a little fun thing is that you can see here now i get the quest saying here advancing the effort it basically unlocks the access to daily quests and ice crown but yeah we're going to accept this quest here where we're going to secure a foothold on top of iron wall rampart and ice crown we and then we're going to unlock you know daily quests so it tells us that the quest is continuing here. We have to set a foothold. Don't let its size fool you. That thing is as brittle as they come. Bring it down. It is too far away. Uh, 
I do not have a target. A job well done. I am sure the Justicar will be pleased. There we go. We have Let secured this place now, success. and we have to get back again once more. And that should be the last step in this quest now. May yeah. So now we are just getting way. daily quests, and that means we have now the daily quest from this guy, where we have to get score stones. We have the daily quest from this guy now, and we have the daily quest over here. This one. So that that's the proper way to do it. That means. It is only daily quests now. We have done all the main quests. But it is not everything as said. It is actually also very important that you look in the chat because um, they are in this place here. Every 20 minutes, I think it is, there is spawning a world boss. And sometimes I think I saw on the map that you can actually see him. Like. There's like a skull around, but every 20 minutes they're spawning a new world boss around here that will give you loot. So yeah, you can do your uh, you can do your daily quests here and get enough points to actually buy gear. This guy here, he actually also sells gear. As you can see, you, you can get this uh, one here, a toy, uh, a pet you can summon. And then you can get the full transport here that is full eye level 100. So for my character here, it's a huge upgrade because I only have like 60 le eye level. So it's a huge, huge, huge upgrade. And Nefanos, he already gave me my 150 weapon. I think Nefanos only gives weapons. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he only gives weapons. And then you get the full armor here. So you can get full 100 eye level gear here, uh, full armor. And then, of course, the weapon 115 you can get from Nathanos when you kill him, if I am correctly. But that should be everything that you can do for now in this pre-event. This is only phase one. Keep in mind, it is phase one. In next week, phase two will start with some additional things, and I will be back with my next guide. But keep in mind, there is world bosses all around here. You can farm and get some great, great items. And it's just, yeah, fly around, look for the bosses. Look in the general chat, make sure when someone calls out there's a bus, and you should be okay. So thanks for watching everyone, that was my guide to the pre-event, and I know it was a bit long, but I just really wanted to make sure that you knew everything you needed to do, and even if you don't have subscription, you now know the whole drill, what you can expect if you buy game time now. So again, thanks for watching, that was the part of, well, the full complete guide walkthrough, as a horde and alliance. Before I end it, I actually just wanted to show you very quickly that you can see on the map when there is a world boss. So if you really want to spawn camp all these world bosses, stay in the middle of the map and just look for these purple skulls. It's basically what you have to do. Just sit here, wait for a purple skull, and then the bosses will spawn here. And as you can see this time, if we are against Falric, where it just keep like spawning tons of demons all the time. Oh, wow, that was a big mass fear. That was pretty cool actually. And they die pretty fast, so you, so you have to like... When they spawn, you have like... I think like 30 seconds, 1 minute to get there. And then you can actually attack it. So let's see if I got anything. Okay, I just got a lot, a bunch of pitch black scourge stones that just helps me with my quest here. So that that's pretty much it. But they can drop, I think it was 110 eye level. Um, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, so you can just go in the middle of the map, sit and wait, you know, do something else, play bingo or something like that, and then, or play chess. And then when you see a purple skull, boom, go get him and get your eye level. 110 item, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.